So welcome, welcome to the first code challenge. So here in just a second, we're gonna go over it. Now, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. Um, go ahead and like, and everything you need for these code challenges, I'm gonna set up a GitHub repository where um, you could either pull my challenges to see answers of stuff that I've created. And I'm hoping that you guys actually develop stuff better than mine uh, so we can collaborate on it, so we can talk about it, so others can learn from it and, you know, we can get interactive and we can actually start solving some problems. And I think we got the tools here, the technology today with YouTube and these channels. That that's what we should be doing. We should be doing these types of things and we should all be honing our skills and working together uh, in collaboration. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get over into the first coding challenge. And like I said, this is the first one. So it's not going to be um, really too complex, but it's not going to be really super easy either. I'd like to see you guys set these up in GitHub repositories so that way you start building projects uh, in your GitHub. Uh, that way we can show that you've been doing work and that's going to help you later on down the line with future employers because they're going to see that you've got a bunch of active projects that you've been working on. You're going to know that you're confident about actually working with this technology. So uh, learn how to do that too. So there's another Bonus side challenge, if you've never set up a GitHub repository, go over to github.com right now, set up a repository, uh, and just call this um, SeanPX1-CodeChallenge1, um, or just type CodeChallenge1 if you don't want to drop my name in there, that's fine. Uh, whatever you want to name it, uh, but go over to github.com and set up your repo, and then follow these instructions for your first code challenge.